Okay, real quickly, I want to talk about Eastern Red Cedar, Juniperus virginiana. They do grow in Houston. They grow outside of Houston. They grow all over the place. They do really well here, but you can't expect them to thrive in a low spot. That bottom dies out. See how healthy the top is? Super healthy top. The bottom is dying out. I'm not saying the plant is dying. I'm saying the bottom is dying. And it's gonna die from the bottom up. Most trees die from the top down. Welcome tree people. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Gene. If this is your first time here and you want to be better at making trees happy, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss a thing. These are going to get replaced and the new ones are going to suffer the same fate unless they put in like a 14 to 16 inch tall raised bed here. Um, they conceal the fact that there's a raised bed by uh, planting the sandy leaf fig in front of it. They plant the trees high, they engineer the drainage, and then they might be able to have better success. But remember, when the bottom dies out, it doesn't fill back in. And then we work our way up. I'm talking about, you can't visibly see that there's a change in the grade here at all. But these trees, the drainage is clearly better here. The healthier trees have the full skirt all the way to touching the ground. And then you've got another spot here. Again, it's always in the corners, almost always in the corners. These two are suffering, suffering. This one's not doing so well. This one's not doing so well. And then bang, you got this one right here that's happy as a clam. Low foliage, nice and clean. Now this is the this is the west. This is where the sun's gonna set, right? This is south. So this face doesn't get the full sun in the in the slow period, and the south side is blocked by an eight-foot fence. So the interior is always gonna be dead, right? You plant these things too close together and too close to the fence, the interior is completely dead. But you can't just go pruning these because they're, they're like this one's green at the tips, right? You know, you prune to provide clearance along that fence line. I'd love to improve the light penetration back in here. Got a nice hole in the sky here, but there isn't another hole in the sky for another 30 feet. This is, this is a challenge, keeping these things happy. They're gonna need a lot of fertilization, a lot of frequent mite treatment, and pruning is, it's like that hole is not gonna fill back in readily. Okay, now, let me quickly take you guys. I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna take you to show you an Eastern Red Cedar that is happy, but it's in the front yard and it's not the low spot. It is. Here it is. This is amazing. This is the eastern red cedar that I was telling you about. So, lest anybody tell you that they don't grow here, this is considerably older than the house. I should have. I should have done this. I'm gonna take some. Should have done this in portrait mode. 